Uh, hi, uh, I'm Jags Ram Narayan. I'm the chief architect for the Gemfire products at VMware. So what is SQL Fire in about five minutes? Well, it's a distributed main memory oriented SQL data management platform that's primarily designed to be used as an operational database for uh, online transaction processing applications. Now, if you are one of those who is already familiar with you know, distributed data grids um, like Oracle Coherence or Gemfire or Data Fabrics or NoSQL databases like Cassandra or HBase, you already know a lot about this product. It essentially offers the same set of characteristics of very high scale performance and availability. Uh, but at the same time, it also goes beyond some of these basic characteristics to offer things like distributed transactions. It's got a fairly sophisticated SQL querying engine with main memory indexing. It's got a MapReduce framework built in. Um, besides that, it also offers a caching framework so you can use it alongside your existing relational or other data sources. Um, what does a typical SQL fire deployment look like? You essentially have many server instances running in a commodity cluster. Clients connect using JDBC or ADO.NET. Um, tables are relation just like any RDB, but they can either be replicated or partitioned. If the tables are essentially small and seldom change, much like you know you see tables in essentially code or dimension tables in classic star schemas, you model them as replicated tables. If they're large are frequently changing once, then you model them as partition tables. Uh, when partitioned, you can specify how many replicas for you want for high availability, things of that nature. Um, by supporting replicated tables alongside uh, partitioning, we essentially promote the idea that joint queries can be executed on just one or a small number of nodes without requiring expensive cross-node query execution and distributed locks. Uh, replication in SQL Fire is always synchronous. Um, that's something to note. Uh, for the most part, the product essentially is designed so that ex uh, you know uh, SQL executed by the application, things like selects, DMLs, that sort of stuff, is always uh, standard SQL, uh, ANSA SQL, and all the extensions or most of the extensions, I should say, are offered through the data definition language, things like Create Table. And you can see that example. So, for instance, you go Create, yada yada. Uh, and you simply have clauses like replicate or partition by a certain column or a set of columns, partition by a set of, set of columns, and you can say redundancy one, that sort of thing. Um, the product uh, leverages uh, the Gemfire distributed data grid for things like distribu data distribution, membership management, things of that nature. Um, now, on, on the consistency model, uh, if you're familiar with the CAP theorem, Gemfire, I mean, SQL Fire, leans more towards consistency and availability than partition tolerance within a single cluster. But the product supports uh, async replication across wide area networks um, um, uh, when, when the, uh, so that even if the entire cluster were to go down, you can sort of fail over or fail back. Uh, we use a fail fast eager replication algorithm for support for distributed transactions. Uh, and we use a single phase commit algorithm so that we forgo expensive distributed locks. Uh, a subsequent screen cache should really get into the details of our consistency model. Um, I touched on some of these points. Clusters can asynchronously replicate to each other and client drivers are designed for, to fail over fail back. Uh, it's rather easy to configure the product as a cache. Uh, so if your backend, let's say relation database schema is the same as the one you have in SQL Fire, then all you really need to do is configure things like asynchronous right behind and all changes will be enqueued um, and, and they'll be ordered and written back to the database. Uh, the last two key elements of the product is that it supports dynamic scaling through, uh, through rebalancing. You can simply add nodes on the fly and automatically initiate migration of data from the most loaded nodes. Uh, when data migrates, uh, any co-located behavior will also essentially migrate. Uh, finally, we support an SQL version of the MapReduce pattern called the DataWare procedures. Uh, these are essentially JavaScript procedures as specified by the SQL standard with a small extension. You can parallelize the execution and also hint the data the procedure is interested in or dependent on so that the procedure is only parallelized on the subset of the nodes that have the data. 
Uh, final point is that you have uh, multiple deployment topology choices. You can embed it inside a Java application if you want to, or you can essentially operate it in a clustered mode, sort of it's embedded, but it's running as a cluster across a set of, you know, let's say application server nodes or spring containers. And all you have to do to essentially go from one deployment model to the sort of the clustered model is simply change the URL. Uh, and then you have deployment topologies like client server, or you can even daisy chain a bunch of clusters and do replication across them for a very high scale. So that's about uh, um, what SQL Fire is in about five minutes or so.